Hello everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. O oh, ang ganda ng bahay na to, di ba? Lahat tayo pangarap natin na magkaroon ng magandang bahay. Alam nyo ba, katas ito ng YouTube mula sa talento at hirap ng content creator na si Mikey Bustos. Hey there, Spider. This is your boy, Mikey Bustos. Wow, check this out. Hello! Oh, it's open. <laughs> Hello! Hello, Hello, it is Mikey Bustos. Hello. Hello, what a Hi, beautiful, Karen. beautiful place. Thank you. Isipin mo to, my Salamat. gosh. Hello. Come in, come in. Hello, my gosh. Yeah. Hello, RJ. <laughs> Alam nyo, I interviewed them before on Head Start. That's Nung right. lumabas sila as a couple. First, this is such a beautiful home. Look at this, right? I think the concept we wanted to go for was something uh, homey and welcoming for guests. We built this place to host friends uh -oh. and family. Uh -oh. and, uh, when did you move in? Oh, I think we officially moved in August last, yeah, August year. last year. Yeah, so it's been a while and we've been slowly making it a home. The living room! <laughs> yeah, so um, our concept for the entire house is modern Asian luxe. But we wanted to support Filipino furniture Very good. designers. Yeah, so uh -oh. we've got Vito Selma here, Ito Kish, the Gregoria chair uh -oh. there. A lot of our guests love that. And Kenneth Cobon Pue. Ang ganda nito. Mylon this Nibal. is gorgeous. Yeah. Kenneth to? Yes. I yes. love it. Too. And I love this, huh? I know, isn't it cool? It's like yeah, where big, did you get this? <laughs> it's like a big durian or jacket. Uh -oh. <laughs> Uh, we bought it in Manila, Milo Naval, Om Furniture. Gonna so drink. is this a dream home for you? I would say so, yeah. Uh -oh. This has uh, been a dream for us and uh, it's really a dream to host friends and family like you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe he's here. <laughs> this Bahai, we've been working on it for five years now. We wanted to move outside of the city because, you know, there's fresh air, we love nature, we have dogs. Yeah, it's been a tough journey. It's been really hard, but we've reached the end now. What is this? So this is also uh, Ito Kish because it looks like an explosion. It reminds me of the Big Bang. Yeah. I'm a big a fan of astronomy. So like, I was like, oh, I really love this. So we, this is where we keep some of our shoes. And nice. Various oh, oh. items. This is a uh, dragon skin, I believe they call it at Kenneth Coburn Poi. Wow, so you're really supporting local artists. Local, and in fact, ganda. look at the, see these wood carving? I love it. We had them done in Paete. Laguna. Ah, talaga? Yeah, because we visited the town and they were really affected by pandemic. And there's the best wood artists in the world. So we wanted to support. So all of our columns are, uh, are handcrafted by Pinoy. Yeah. What I love about this home is it's open and the outdoors is indoors. Yeah. So you call this indoor, outdoor living. Yes. This here is our aviary. So I have six parrots. Oh, they're, it's still raining, but those are two parrots here. They're called blue-naped parrots. Okay. Uh, so this entire uh, aviary, it runs at the center of the house. Yeah. And it's three stories. Kutina nyo yun, smart idea. Yeah. And oh. the rain, the birds love the rain. See? It's good for their feathers. And they love the trees and plants and it's really nice. We find their good luck. Actually, throughout the house, you'll find bird imagery everywhere. Okay. It's, it's a good luck charm. And the dining table. Check this out. One of the most beautiful dining areas I've seen. What? And it's because really, the accent is the wall. Can you talk about the wall? Actually, it's in cooperation with my with our interior decorator, designer, uh -oh. Kathy. Yeah, I love tablescaping. I love table styling. That's my passion. It was his pandemic hobby. Yeah, that was my okay. pandemic hobby. So it has three panels, three like panels. Mo moving panels. Wow. Yeah, like that, see? So this one, everything will turn gray. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Get go gray or... Tapos ito... Oh, oh, oh sorry. Oops. Sorry, this one, first. This one is mirror. Uh-oh. This is brilliant, right? Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Mikey loves mirror, so marami kayong may kitang mirror all over the house. Oh, oh. You make me sound like a narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> Your dining table is a statement piece in itself. Actually, it looks like a leaf. Yeah, dahon. I think the furniture company is called Biara. Biara. Oh, local again, mm -hmm. of local. course. This is beautiful, this dining area. You, oh wait, do you want to show them the pantry? Okay. Uh, Oh, oh sorry. Pantry, yeah. pantry. I have a small pantry here because I love I love plates. Yeah. Dear small daw. Oh my god. 
Asia We love squad. small. I'm a super fan of the small. We love small out there. Super fan, super fan. A small. Oh my god. I got Teller. Small. small, we're big fans. We're big I, fans. No bashing. Small. No bashing. Oh my, oh my gosh. So you are collecting. <laughs> During so, the pandemic. No pandemic, so of course. People love to collect Hermes anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tuma pang small saucer nito. Le Creuset. Oh, oh Le Creuset. And why do you love this? I think it, it's the quality. Oh, oh. Tapos, pwede na siyang gawing ano. Pwede Is this French? Yes. Okay. Pwede ng pamana sa mga anak namin in the future. It's like, pang matagalan talaga siya. And of course, they have their own wine cellar. <laughs> yes. Yes. Right here. Of course, we have uh, our poisons. Yes. Uh, just kidding. Antioxidants. We just <laughs> we like to drink wine here and sangria. Yeah. Okay, the best baso <laughs> in the house. <laughs> sa lahat ng pinakamahal, ito ang the best baso. From, yeah, from YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of YouTube but merch. Deva, what started it all? What right? started it all? That's correct. Okay. Is it fair to say, Mikey, this is what YouTube has given you both? Yeah, I, I, I think that's a fair assessment. You know, YouTube really made a lot of things possible for many people, creators like myself around the world. And uh, we're really grateful to have been able to make a career out of YouTube. Sino ba talaga si Mikey Bustos? You're Filipino-Canadian. What was your childhood like? I grew up in Toronto, Canada. Both my parents are Filipino. They met in Canada. And I grew up mostly, well, around Canadians, Italian people, mga ibang cultures. My parents didn't teach me Tagalog, unfortunately. I had to learn that here. It was an interesting childhood, not much to do. We didn't have internet back then. So I was always into, you know, being outside, mga playing with insects and animals and we, you know, we had to climb trees. I'm part of that generation. Nanay ko, she works at a hospital, uh, emergency ward, a work clerk, and uh, she was very strict. I always had to be home by 7 p.m. Um, every time I brought home a girlfriend, she'd be like, Because she said, you're just going to be a kid. She's very strict. She, she raised me with an iron fist, um, and I'm thankful for that. My dad worked at, uh, he builds airplanes, so he's an aircraft engineer and a mechanic. Pero anong natutunan mo sa mga magulang mo growing up in Canada? What? Sorry? What did I learn? I love that! I love that! Hindi <laughs> na niya kaya! About my parents. Ma, what did you learn? From my parents? From your parents. Oh. So, of course, my parents taught my brother and I Filipino values, so we studied hard. Um, we were very religious. We went to church every Sunday. My brother and I grew up with Italian people, mostly. So we were always curious about uh -oh. the homeland, you know? It Pero hindi ka kasi taghirap dun eh. Yung iba kasi ang hirap ng buhay noon. Yeah. Not you. Well, I mean, we still struggled because my parents also started from the bottom when they migrated. Uh, I remember starting in project housing, they call it. Wow. So it's like subsidized housing yes. for mostly, you know, immigrants lived in those communities. My parents really worked hard and they saved up. And I think that stuck with me because it taught my brother and I to really work hard for what we want. When did you move to the Philippines? Why did you move here? I started YouTube. One of my channels was a comedy channel. I did a comedy skit on how to speak English with Pinoy accent. In Canada? In Canada. And then that went viral. And I was like, oh my gosh, mommy, I think my video is going viral. And she said, Michael, go clean your room. And she didn't know. Like back then, we didn't understand. And then a, comp yeah. a snack brand here in the Philippines contacted me saying they wanted me to do some TV commercials here. So uh, they flew me here and I shot 19 commercials. And then when I saw my following here, I ended up staying. And then um, a TV network already offered to sign me. That was GMA. And so I stayed, and that's how it started, 2011. It's because of YouTube. So Karen, this is, I call it RJ's kitchen because he's the cook, he's you the cook. tablescaper, yeah. everything. You don't cook. No, I eat. <laughs> I'm a professional I eater. This, this is a you. Yeah, it's Parashang a huge. conference yeah. table. We've decked it out also with outlets, outlets at the bottom so people can charge their phones. And hooks for bags. <laughs> yeah. And, Ay, and a sit. So technically, Right there. That's and right. Yes. Here. Yes. And then oh, we, we, we offer the food. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah. I love the kitchen. Who designed Thank you. the kitchen? Well, the U shaped counter was <laughs> RJ's idea. It's my idea. Uh, it was yours? Yes. To those watching, they could be thinking, oh, to have a home like this, sobrang mahal. Are there secrets to building that you were able to save? Ano yung mga, you call them building hacks. Always like weigh your options. Just don't commit to one supplier. Kailangan mong magpabid. So, hindi lang isang company or isang supplier dapat. At least three. Tapos pipiliin mo kung sino mas oh. mura at yung quality. Of, of course, you have to check the quality. Alam naman natin, pag kusina, iniisip ng ilan, wow, ang kusina, million, million, million. Actually, this kitchen, yeah. yung modular, no. It, hindi kailangan. Hindi kailangan. Actually, sobrang mura nung ito. Dito. Oh, di ba yung ganun? Sobrang mura nito. Oh. RJ is really good at looking for good suppliers and, yeah, he takes the time talaga. Asan ang guest bathroom dito? Okay, so Asan? there are lots of trap doors and secret passageways in this house. And here's our to? guest bathroom. Yeah. Feel free to enter. Everything is smart, so it just turns yeah. on when you go inside. So this is a smart house. Smart house, yes. Smart house, that's the word. And just how smart is the house? The curtains open and close at a program time, so it's kind of like an our alarm clock. Everything's voice command, um, things will shut off when you leave the room, things but like that. But doesn't that make it so expensive? It doesn't have to be. Um, the company we work with is LifeSmart, PH, and you know, they, they're, they're fair. It's no. a fair price. One thing is if when you leave a room, sometimes you forget to turn off the lights, turn off the aircon, oh. but if it's all automated, na, like it, it can help you save. <laughs> this is um, a smart mirror. Have you ever tried? No. <laughs> Oh my God. Let me show you. One of the cool things that it does is it can measure your uh, moisture. Moisture. So it'll tell you if you need. It'll tell you if you need um, to drink more water. Just let me try. Okay, so I'll put it. Baka electric you taho. It's going to test. Thirty-six. Oh, you're normal. Oh, but well I, hydrated. But I should be here. This is really moist. Oh, oh yeah. moist. <laughs> And this is the den. We call this the entertainment room where we have guests. They could watch TV. Um, this is where I do a lot of my work too. Um, just a fun room with a lot of color and stuff like that. This is the most relaxing part of the house. Yeah, it's Look uh, at that. And to think, umuulan na. Ang ganda pa rin, no? Yeah, this is oh. our yard. Wow, and look at the pool! Yeah, I, when I'm working in between like editing sessions, I will jump in the pool oh, for oh. a few minutes and then go and work more. Yeah, so this is gadget. Oh, yeah, it's all smart. So, makita namin kapag okay yung quality ng water. It will tell us if it needs, you know, maintenance. Kasi wala kami improving. Oh, oh. Yeah. So we're, we were happy to move out here to Cavite. Yeah. Provincia feels. Cavite is a winner. Yeah. Okay, eto pa. So yes. working area nila to. Yes. What is this? Explain this. This is by a Filipino artist named Norli Mimban, and uh, he creates sustainable art from okay. upcycled uh, garbage and like used materials. So you see, that's CDs. Ang, ang galigo. Yeah, very good and beautiful work really pop of colors and then you also work here yeah so, so this is where i edit bay. yeah so i edit here um very simple setup and this is one of those desks that allow Make to rise on. yeah so that i'm not always sitting down it's good for the back I, guys yeah we need this table in our lives yeah yeah sometimes i like to dance while i'm working you know get the blood flowing Wow, so, I yeah. need this, huh? We've got a recording booth here. So I record my parodies or voiceovers for my aunt channel are yes. all in here. If you come inside, see the echo just disappears. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, and then this is my mic. I, I just simply wear these and then I do my voiceovers or I sing here. And it's really my dream recording booth I've wanted for a long time. I've done a lot of music, see? So Mabuhay album, the I Wear Speedos album. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was our highest uh, viewed parody. Collectively, 200 million views. No! And then Speedo, head office in UK, sent us this. Oh my gosh! <laughs> 
I wear speedos. It's like a mankini. It's a Despacito parody. And it wasn't even a sponsored video. It was just for fun. And you know what <laughs> amazes me? You've remained but, humble all these years. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. No, how do you? Well, I mean, because I think I know what it's like to not have what we have now. So I'm grateful every day. I come from a place of gratitude every morning. Like I wake up every morning and I thank God for everything we've done. When your mother and father visited your home. <laughs> yeah. What was their reaction? Um, my dad was, wow. He said, Did I'm he so cry? proud. Did they no, cry? no. My mom was like, oh, this is wrong. <laughs> His hair should be wider. She had all of these criticisms, but inside I knew that no. she was she was happy and proud of what we've done here. Did, did, they, <laughs> My ever mom think, that. did they ever think you would be this YouTube star? For sure, no. Because, and you know, especially in my early 20s, because Karen, I dropped out of school oh. in Canada because I wanted to pursue my entertainment career. I knew ano ba in my mo bones mo? that I wanted to be a singer, I wanted to be an entertainer, because I was supposed to be a veterinarian. I was studying to be an animal doctor. Uh, because you love animals. Because I love animals. Uh -uh. But that was like their path for me. And that was hard, so I was black sheeped for a long time. I've been singing my whole life, and Canadian Idol was such a dream. I placed eighth in the competition uh, in Toronto, in Canada, nationwide. And then, um, yeah, I started YouTube, and that was it. It was all history. After that, my mom was like, okay, you can do what you want now. I'll stop bothering you. But, but wait, what did you sing in Canadian Idol? Oh, I sang a lot of songs, Karen. So, But can you sing so, your favorite? A little bit. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay. I can show you the world Shining, shimmering, splendid Tell me, Karen, now when did you last let your heart aside? My gosh! <laughs> really, you are you thank embraced you, you. who you are. Matigas ang ulo. Oh, so isipin nyo, well guys, wag nyo naman to sundan. He quit school, don't follow that. Don't follow uh, that guys. But, I don't, but yeah. Unless but, God says yeah. to do it. But right, he, he followed his passion. Yeah. So you're a singer, a YouTube star, and not <laughs> only that, you came out with your partner. Yes. And you just said, I'm gay and in love. That's right. Did your parents accept that right away? They paused and then they did. So when did you tell your parents? Oh my gosh. So that I, you were gay. Yeah, so I told my dad first. They were here because they had known RJ. They had already embraced him as a family member, but officially we were just workmates. It's like daddy, RJ and I are together and I, I'm in love with him. And he said, what? How did you get that? <laughs> like as if it was some disease. I'm like, daddy, it's a, I was born this way, I think. And then he stopped and he's like, okay, whatever you want to do in life, I'm okay with it. So <gasps> we, were by, we were somewhere together and we had a beer together and it was just a really beautiful moment with my dad. Now my mom, RJ told her <laughs> because my mom and RJ are close. He told her surprisingly and she was okay with it. Surprisingly, I was worried the most about my mom. But yeah, they embraced it. And I felt like I had beat the biggest boss in the video game of my life. That's what it felt like. Our first bedroom to show you, RJ will take you to the parents' room. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh! A small room for them. So, a lot of the <laughs> parents like to stay here. You must feel so fulfilled, though. Yeah. Oh, oh. And it's fulfilling for us when our loved ones are here. Yeah. It's a, it's a deeper level of enjoyment. Okay. okay. Oh, wait. I this, love, oh, yeah. oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Umiilo siya. Wait, but the is a smart hug done. Okay, okay. there we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it really, our house feels alive. It's got its intelligence. Yeah. May nagbigay sa amin to. Tapos we kept it kasi Mikey believes in duende. So, there are many stories where I, I almost could feel that they were around and helped us. But I do believe that there are forest spirits or something. They're a good oh, luck charm wow. too. So and yeah. the second floor is so spacious. So, so this is Kenneth Cobon 
Yes. The classic, the equals this um, Chiquita. Chiquita. I, yeah. I have also a poem. Awesome. And, and we actually made it a guest book. Karen, you need to sign. Are so really all our guests poster? sign a peg. And I then they that. Yeah, and then they put it here. And it's good memories of all the people who've been here. house just feels so fresh. Look, you wake up, you walk out, and look at that. Yeah, the birds are... Why you see that? So this is what we call the Joseph Room. It's named after my brother, who was a fan of Marvel. Oh, wow. Um, it's got a lot of toys. It's like a man-child room. Yeah, but who stays here? Uh, just guests. My brother has stayed here as well. We've got the Ant-Man mural here. Batman. Of course, Batman. Superman and gaming guys, chair. This is the ultimate collectible room. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. So yeah, these are all toys. It's like serious. <laughs> yeah. From the 90s, this is all nostalgic stuff. So Ghostbusters, Ninja Turtles, the Thundercats. And I love the This is the washroom. It's a Japanese style love, bathroom. Look at the Japanese style banyo. <laughs> so Alamo, you need to invest a look in your banyo because the banyo, you don't need big space, right? Yeah, it doesn't have you to be big. You don't need big space, but look at this. Kahit maliit ang space, there's a Japanese style bathtub. Each room is themed. Mga ibang themes. Pero you want an interior for the rooms. Yes, RJ is really good at choosing the room. Then gusto si Mikey, may mga requirements siya. Then I make yeah, it happen. I conceptualize the room and he makes it happen. <laughs> so this here is what we call the green room. The green room? Yes. So we call it the green room because it's up in the trees. There's a corner uh, window here so you could be, feel like you're with the, the trees, among the birds. Oh, oh. And not only that, look at this. Yeah, yeah. It's a Actually, wallpaper. Alam mo yung bangin nyo para ng hotel. <laughs> <laughs> and then we offer um, binoculars so guests uh, could see birds from their window. Oh, I was right. Hotel ka. Tignan nyo yung pool from oh. here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> You can actually drink in the pool. Yeah, yeah. it's a swim-up bar. Yes, swim-up bar. Ah. So, this is the powder room on the second floor. Guys, welcome to Aman Pulo. <laughs> <laughs> Over powder room on the second floor. So, if you notice, we use mga organic shampoo. So, we're uh -huh. friends with Tita Sonia of Sonia's Garden. So, uh -huh. we have all of products. Sila. Uh, so, Sweetie RJ. Ang kinwento niya yung organic shampoo. Yeah. Hindi yung pagkabongga ng bagong <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! Even our laundry, lahat ng soap namin, hand oh, washing, it's all eco-friendly. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Kasi we want to live sustainably here too. Ang bait niya naman. Yeah. Pero ang ganda ng banyo. <laughs> Another guest bedroom. We call this the yellow room because the sun sets here and it spills this beautiful light that comes through this window. Everything is so well themed. <laughs> and <laughs> Thank you. Look, and this is like a Japanese inspired. Yeah, it's close bed. to no. the floor. Is it or Danish? Um, it I'm be. not sure. Awesome. I guess, yeah. The so who has stayed here? Guest. <laughs> yeah, oh, guests. Yeah, family, friends. Yes. We have four guest rooms. And this is our master, this is our bedroom. master bedroom. Oh my gosh. The master bedroom is a condo. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah, we wanted to build a place na siya. where it's we could. It's a penthouse. It's a house in itself. We this is a jacuzzi. We haven't used it yet, but yeah. it's for romantic times. <laughs> um, but yeah, so jacuzzi, we like to have wine here. I'll oh. often sit here and watch. Yes. Outside. Wow! I like this. Yes. The fact that there's a glass divider yeah. and then there are plants inside. We built it so that I could put animals in here, but currently there's nothing inside. Just uh -oh. landscape. But you wanted animals. Sure. It, it can <laughs> house an animal. See, there's a breathing uh, ventilation, sa top, and there's heat. Ilaw. There's ilaw that we could install there for heat lamps. Oh. We'll relax here after a long day of editing. Just like, Beautiful. Sa, sa mga sofa namin, pinili namin yung waterproof. Kasi we have dogs. Ah. Yeah, so we use waterproof. Tela. Tela. Ang ganda, ang galing nyo. Yeah. Thank, you. Nila, no? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We've had a long time to think about things. Uh oh. <laughs> this here is our uh, mini, mini kitchen. My kitchen sa room. Yeah, in case, you know, bedroom. midnight snack, that kind of thing. All my vitamins oh are my here. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> what? If we have lots of guests and oh. it, they want to do their own thing and we don't want to disturb them, 
We'll just stay here and let them wander around the house and not be shy. Master bathroom. Hi, nice. Oh my, this is so interesting. Yeah. What yeah. is this? We call it dragon scales. It's a type of tile. Is it? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a tile. Tiles lang yan. Ceramic. Tapos meron kaming balik bayan. I call it balik bayan box. Bayan shower. Kasi yung laki niya parang balik bayan box. Oh, oh. Yeah. Beautiful. So this is our bedroom. I mean the sleeping area. Yeah. We'll eat here sometimes. Bed for our dogs. Oh, oh. Yeah. And can you show us the view? Yeah, sure. So these curtains can open. It's just right. uh, trees, being up in the trees. Okay, this is our oh, office. Mini office. Our office. Mini wow. office. Yeah. Oh, how nice! Yeah. It's also so, our yeah. library. Oh, that's that. Some of your books. Oh, yeah. interesting. You guys are so organized. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay, walk-in closet. It's here. Uh, this is the closet. Yeah, it's hidden. Another one of the hidden doors. I'm coming. This is how organized they are. Yes. Look at this. <laughs> Their luggage all. Yeah. This is for our dogs. have a small cabinet dogs. for our dogs. <laughs> they have a dog cabinet. We have okay. four dogs. And then this is our closet room. Oh, wow. how, or, how nice. We don't really collect that many brands, but yeah, we have a lot of clothes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It was a modular company that built this, right? Mm -hmm. Local. Obviously. There's a lot of good quality work here in the Philippines for yeah. building houses and decorating. So we this here is a dry cleaner machine. So no. it can iron your stuff. It's smart as well. <laughs> yeah, 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 see? But it, it can disinfect, dehumidify clothes. It will it will adjust the cleaning depending on what's inside. Be gentle dry pa. <laughs> <laughs> You've worked for it five years. Yeah, it was very hard. It was very challenging, pero challenging. Sulit, yung sulit sa pakiramdam. Oh oh. Back in the hustling days of YouTube, oh it was hard. Morning to night, it was around the clock job, seven days a week. There was a time when it was just me editing for many many years. We also sacrificed even our relationship suffered because we were workaholics for many many years. So I mean now we're at a point where it's work balance. So now I try to wake up at 8, start working like a job, take a break at noon to eat, and then stop at 8 p.m. Um, so now it's kind of a bit easier since we've laid the groundwork now. It's really, I love what I do, so it doesn't really feel like work. I also was doing another channel called Ants Canada. Sobrang random. I love insects and I love mga langgam. Pero but gusto mo ng langgam? Yeah. But langgam. They're so fascinating, Karen. So they live in large societies and very structured. They're actually like people. Um, if you really study them. It blew up seven years after I started the channel. I was living here in Philippines na. Now we almost have five million subscribers. Um, from all over the world. I don't know if it's my main channel, but it's one of my channels. Karen, this is probably my favorite room in the house. <laughs> it's uh, my man cave. It, we call it the ant room. Or the th ant room. Yeah, or the pet room, because we have several pets in here. They really set <laughs> aside such a huge space. Yeah, for mga langgam. So this here wow. is mga langgam na pula. You know the red fire ants? Uh oh. We have them here in Philippines and they sting, so I don't touch them. But look, see, they're eating here. And they crawl up the mountain and into the nest at the top. This is like a volcano. They live in here. They just moved in here a few days ago. See? They lived in there and now they're moving into this soil part. And then I just film their lives and upload it to YouTube. This is what I use. Okay. And then I have special lenses. Um, this is a wide angle lens, but I've got macro lenses. They're called macro. Oh, oh. They're like really. Very National Geographic. Yeah, it's so fun. <laughs> Only I don't have to go into the gubat. It's just oh. here. Yeah. Oh. And in fact, here on this property, I think we've, dis we've made three scientific discoveries. Like what? Of, of ants. Let me show you. This species. Oh my gosh, Karen. It might be a new species. What? Of ant. Wait, this is my ant stash. Here, they belong to the genus Chromatogaster. That big one is the queen. Those white things are her eggs. 
they it might be a new species. They're, they're looking. But Mikey, what's amazing? And we caught it here. What's amazing about you? You're a singer. You're an actor. <laughs> you're a YouTuber. But you are a science geek. Yeah, such a you're geek. You're an animal geek. Such a geek. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. You've revealed my secret. <laughs> These are more ant colonies. This is a small one. I wouldn't touch these ones. They're called trap jaw ants. They, Where? They have jaws that go They're small and um, black. There, see them? Oh my gosh, it's Yeah, super socket. Ito, these are called um, spiny ants. And look, they create nests by getting material from their surrounding. Wow. And they glue it together using silk from their larvae. So this is a nest here. This here is a stone dragon to, uh, ant farm. So ito yung uh, nest nila. And if you look inside, you can see their tunnels. See? There's oh, the eggs wow. and lots of tunnels here. This is where they live. Look at how beautiful their tunnels are. They're called marauder ants. Carabera diversa is the scientific name. And then you feed them on the body. So I put the food here, see? And they come out of the mouth. Paso, they paso Pero where did mouth. you get this? Manufactured this uh, at a place called Cartimar. So I had yeah. a friend help me fashion and design it. So that's like the leftover of a daga. <laughs> see, they're important for helping break down uh, dead animals in nature. Yeah. yeah, they're very big decomposers. Na in love ka sa kanya dahil sa love niya sa love <laughs> No, no, no. He has dahil, no choice. Dahil, uh, dahil, no. dahil lang hilig niya sa langgab, naisip ni RJ, oh my gosh, kakaiba siyang lalaki. Mahilig sa langgab. <laughs> Nasayan na lang ako eventually. Yeah, he got used to it. He's very okay. tolerant. This is special. Yeah, so this is the gold play button from YouTube. You did this. I turned it into an ant farm. Yeah, so I moved <gasps> ants inside. There are no ants now, but there were living in here for Mikey, you are and you're so creative. <laughs> Thank you. Gosh. Thank you. So do you know the Simpsons? Yes. So the maker of the Simpsons, Matt Groening, is a big fan of the show of Ants Canada. Oh. And the Sun as well. So he drew us this Homer. Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, to Mikey and the millions of ants <laughs> at Ants Canada. These are our streamy nominations yeah. streamies are like the kind of like the oscars for yes. youtube so we were nominated three times i love it and yeah for for ants canada but what is it about ants mm -hmm. that made you fall in love with langam i think it's because of their structured societies langam Pero the... ilang taon ka nun? Nung una mo nagustuhan yung langgam. Oh, since I was a bata pa. Oh, oh. Uh, you know, I was oh, still oh. a kid. And, you know, I was already bigging, digging up ants from the yard and looking at them in jars. They're very structured. They have garbage sites. They don't just tap on the garbage anywhere. So they have a CR. They have daycare. They organize the babies by, by age. Yes. They have a graveyard. And so it, it's like having a little city of people so i i feel like god looking at like my ants and then the second floor if you look here we've got langam on the wall oh you'll love this a net floor come oh my <laughs> so i often like to just come here and relax with friends and it's safe oh no no it's safe <laughs> here um, yeah, there you go. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh my so now we can feel like spiders. Gagamba. Before it was just supposed to be a, a, a railing here. And this was supposed to be open. I said, no, let's make this a net floor. And you can look outside, a nice view of the forest at the back. Yeah. You almost feel like you're on vacation. Yeah. When you're in their house, feeling more like a vacation. Yeah. I swear. Well, we tell our guests, find the energy you like and stay there. Oh, just to make sure. Just to make sure, yeah. Just to make sure. It's scary. It is scary. Yeah, see? <laughs> so this is uh, Valentino, Hi. our green tree python. He's eight years old now. He's, he's an old boy. We love him so much. Why do you love him? I don't know. He's just beautiful. <laughs> Pero yeah. No, I never touch him. Because he will bite. <laughs> He's not friendly. We have an understanding. Just we feed him and we look and don't touch. You've created a resort home. 
You think? That's the word, a resort home. Wow. Yeah. Well, we did create it to host, so. Yeah. Yeah, you feel free to come anytime. Mikey, when you look at everything that you've achieved, where else do you want to go? What I can talk about now is I'd like to do a bit more acting. I've been doing some acting film projects. Uh, also, want to continue building our farmhouse and uh, get into sustainable living. Possibly having kids and a family. We'll see. Who knows? I kind of don't have a plan. That's the best way. Like, don't really have a plan. But, uh, do you have a life verse? A life motto, a life lesson, a mantra oh, that man. you've held on and believed it's taken you here. Okay, but it's super cheesy and it's totally like cliche, but follow your dreams. That's it. It's quite simple. So I've followed mine personally, which is entertainment and singing, langam, and the dream to be with my true loved one, which is RJ. So that's what I've done. And so far that formula has worked for me. And I also see people who are successful in this world, they've also followed that formula. So that's, that, I think that would be my mantra.